Hello and welcome. It's Tuesday, April the 19th, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we will read from the book of Acts, chapter 16, verses 11 through 24. Here's the word of the Lord. From Tros we, went, we put out to sea and sailed straight for Samothrace, and the next day we went on to Neapolis. From there we traveled to Philippi, a Roman colony, and the leading city of that district of Macedonia, and we stayed there several days. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate to the river, where we expected to find a place of prayer. We sat down and began to speak to the women who had gathered there. One of those listening was a woman from the city of Thyretia, named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth. She was a worshiper of God. The Lord opened her heart to respond to Paul's message. When she and the members of her household were baptized, she invited us into her home. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, she said, come and stay at my house. And she persuaded us. Once when we were having, once when we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. She earned a great deal of money for her owners by fortune-telling. She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God, who are telling you the way to be saved. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so annoyed that he turned around and said to the spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. When her owners realized that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. They brought them before the magistrates and said, These men are Jews and are throwing our city in an uproar by advocating customs unlawful for us Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas, and the magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten with rods. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Small Groups, Big Benefits, and it's by Dana Porter. In today's scripture reading, we are told how the Lord opened Lydia's heart to respond to the gospel. It sounds like, it sounds as if she was already been worshiping God before the meeting of Paul, and his traveling companions with a group of women gathered outside the city gate. Something special happens when we gather with other believers. We get a glimpse of the larger body of Christ, a representation of a believers around the world. Meeting in small groups within a larger church body is rewarding and vital. The simple act of gathering with other believers and hearing how God is working in their lives encourages us in our own journey. We often hear another person offer insight that never occurred to us. It also helps to hear other struggles and to understand we are not alone. Small groups allow us to carry each other's burdens together so that we do not have to carry them alone. Another amazing benefit is when people really begin to know us, quirks and all, and choose to love us anyway, we can experience a wonderful feeling of love and acceptance. If your church or community does not organize small groups, be encouraged to start your own. And the hymn is by John Fawcett, Blessed Be the Tie That Binds. Our fears, our hopes, our aims are one, our comforts and our cares. And from the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. Do nothing out of self-ambition or vain conceit, 
Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of the others. And that is your daily devotion for Tuesday, April the 19th. Have a blessed day.